Hello, my name is Kamsun and I'm 13 years old and I live in Siem Reap, Cambodia. Many people come to Siem Reap to see the temples of Angkor Wat. They stay in nice hotel, but most do not see how poor Cambodia really is. Only 30 years ago, a terrible thing happened to our people. Millions of Cambodia was killed by the Khmer Rouge army. Families were broken and clever people like doctors and teachers were killed. Even small children have to fight or work hard making rice. Many who survived lost their arms and legs to landmines that was put in the ground by the soldiers. My dad was one of them. After he lost his leg, he became very sad and could not get a job. He started drinking and playing cards to forget his problems. Sometimes when he had no money, he would get angry and hit me and my sister to make us back on the streets. I feel sad and many times I wanted to cry. I feel like I have finished my energy. There were many children on the streets of Simri. And most of us have to carry our baby brothers and sister until early morning in front of the tourist bus. We had no idea about our future, but we knew we did not want to be like our older sister and go with men for money. They live a very bad life. Sometimes they don't come back. Sometimes they die from HIV. When I was nine years old, I met an Australian lady called Tanya and a Cambodian man called Rin. And my life changed. So did the life of many other kids. They gave all of us food every night and work kind. We thought Tanya would go back to her country soon. But she did not. The good luck came and Tanya and Rim fell in love. They got married and stayed in Cambodia. They took us to English school and soon after started Green Kiko. I feel so happy and want to learn so much. Our first green gecko was a small house by a river where we could play and sing and paint beautiful pictures for a few hours a day. It was so good to have fun and feel happy. Now, we all live in a proper green gecko home. We know Tanya and Dream love us so much and will always be around. Because in 2007, they signed a list for 15 years. We started to feel confident about our future. At Brinkigo, we are like one big family living together. We get a lot of food, care, and love. We go to Cambodia school and English school too. We also have extra study at Green Gecko to find out more about the world we live in and ourselves. We learn to solve problems with logic and express ourselves through arts and music. We learn how to make good and safe decisions 
and to be responsible. We are taught how to protect ourselves with strong bodies and strong minds. Tanya and Rim care about our families too. Each week they help them with their rent and healthy food. They send our moms to school to load and pay for the doctor when our families are sick. They set them up in business so they can be proud people too. We all feel so grateful for what Green Gecko has given to us and our families. We all feel so happy and so lucky because we started to learn so late. Some of us will not finish our education until we are 30. But Tanya and Rim say they don't worry about that. They just say, be the best student you can be and we will help you all the way. For me, I dream to have my own NGO so I can help other baker children change their life just like me. For the first time, I feel excited about my life. My name is Kamsun. I'm a Green Gecko Kid. Thank you for listening to my story.